Emerging Cup is in its 16th year um, this year and the whole idea is um, the future of the world belongs to the youth population um, that we have right now. So it's all about looking for solutions, leveraging technology to solve those deep painful um, problems we see all over the world. This is how our solution works. We only have a, a drip system solution like this in Dubai. It has a particular weight. So we have a weight sensor there already, a load cell. So it measures the initial weight of that drip bag. So it's sent to the microcontroller, controller and we have a Wi-Fi mode with there. So the Wi-Fi mode is going to accommodate our, our dashboard that send this data to them, which you can actually visualize it via the mobile phone and via the desktop app. Real drip is a non-invasive device that monitors the flow of intravenous fluid during treatment and alerts medical practitioners in real time. Yeah, the device helps uh, prevent backflow of blood during drip uh, treatment, which might lead to uh, deep vein thrombosis and might also lead to hypervolemic shock. So we decided to come up with something that is low cost that will help improve our community in the X sector. Um, the solution I presented was Guide. Guide is a system I developed to help blind people actually move about and perform normal day-to-day -day activities without using a stick, without having an aid or without having a guide dog walk them throughout their entire life. We implemented an app, a mobile application that could detect glaucoma using um, artificial neural network. So that's what I do, and this is, was very, very, very fun. We spent a lot of time this one. And the winner is Tim Everybody here is a winner and um, for somebody to have made it up to this level, I believe that they must have been doing something right. And um, you know, students you know, back in their school, in their dorm room, they've been working hard and then building stuff to solve real time problems. That's quite impressive. And the solutions that I demonstrated here today really shows that, I mean, in its essence. Well, we looked at um, Global Appeal. The winner actually went into telling us about the um, cost of um, um, what it costs a different government um, on their own solution. That shows you there is a global um, problem that they are trying to solve. And then we looked at that and then we realized they're fantastic idea. For the other contestants, they also did a, a, a good job. I mean, someone has to win, but um, in, my, in my books, it doesn't mean that they also didn't win in one way or the other. Uh, I felt that some of the things that were missing uh, amongst the other contestants that didn't come up on top were just a bit of, you know, just thinking about the security points involved in these applications. Um, also thinking about, you know, some of the contestants had to, you know, do human trials and some of these technologies haven't been tested on human beings. So I felt like, you know, it was a bit more stringent in terms of being number one. Imagine Cops was very, very like innovative and learning. I actually learned a lot from the entire process. From when I actually saw the advert of Imagine Cops to signing up to coming down here, I learned using the Xamarin platform, using the .NET framework, learning through Azure, and actually from the judges when I presented my solution, all their feedback, I learned a lot. This will be my first time of pitching and based on the, the response from the judges and a few people I've met have been Corrected on a few things, I've also been taught a few things that I'll be sure to implement in my solution. To Microsoft, we want to say a very big thank you. In fact, thank you is an understatement for giving us the platform to showcase our idea, showcase our innovation, and to give us a live with purpose through Imagine Corp. For Team Trep, um, they emerge as the national champions for Nigeria. They go and go ahead to compete with all that teams from the Middle East and Africa region in the next two weeks and we believe keeping our fingers crossed that they succeed in that um, once they come out um, out of the top three of the countries from Mia they would go represent the region in the World Finals in Seattle in July 2018.